welcome to the Character Voice Theater. My name is Vegeta, and today we'll be playing a game called Doki Doki Literature Club. Joining me on the couch tonight, please introduce yourselves. Uh, hello, my name's Joseph Joestar. I'm, well, really I'm a real estate agent, but I've been on some adventures. Uh, they've been kind of bizarre. Hello, my name's Komaida Nagito. They call me the ultimate lucky student, though I question the meaning of that. Hey everyone, name's Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's play this game. Alright, cool. Well, we're going to play through this game right here. Uh, first up, uh, there are quite a few warnings. Uh, not suitable for those with issues. Well, <laughs> this game can't be that bad. I mean, look at them. They're little girls. Right? Well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, the internet's kind of uh, different these days, so who knows? <clears throat> Very well. Oh. All right, everybody's above 13, right? Do I look like I'm less than 13? Definitely not. I'm in high school. Well, I'm a hedgehog. I don't think it really matters. All right, cool. Let's go. So, uh, kind of a cheery start. But they keep warning us. Huh. Wow, they're so delightful and charming. I don't think anything could go wrong here. You'd be surprised. Anyway, let's start a new game. Right. Hmm. Uh, well, I suppose, um, I'll be making the move, so... Vegeta. Yep, that's me. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school we would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. She's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Well, I see we've got quite a bit of exposition to deal with. Ha! Ha! Oh, you're going to read for Sayori, Sonic? Yeah, sure, why not? I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Ha <laughs> ha! Wouldn't be a problem if she was as fast as me. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say like... You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Vegeta. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school, yada yada yada. Oh boy, I can tell this is going to be quite the long adventure. And by the way, Vegeta, have you decided on a club to join yet? Club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. See, this guy's a fool. If there was a weightlifting club, you should join that. He told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Oh boy. Blah blah blah, I'm sure it's possible. <sighs> you know, I don't like this relationship at all. A man should be able to f be free to run around and do whatever he wants. If he, if he wants to train all day, so be it. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Well, if this guy's anything like me, that's not a problem. Now, now, Vegeta. It's a good idea not to waste your high school years dwindling away on stupid things like, you know, not learning how to fly planes. Well, I suppose in high school myself, I, I, I make the most of it, right? Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. That's nonsense. Get strong enough, you could win tournaments. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. 
I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. I can't believe I'm saying this. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? I get the impression. Hmm. This is gonna be a long night. So, gotta say, not really uh, catching my attention so far. Seems kind of boring. Uh, ordinary school day, blah blah blah. Hmm. Clubs. I wouldn't mind hitting this one over ahead with a club. Hello? Sayori? Uh, I can only imagine with a title like Doki Doki Literature Club, we'll probably be joining the Literature Club. You're very astute, Vegeta. Honestly, I'm not digging this at all. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so... Uh, well, you could at least let me finish reading it. No. Sayori. That's my line. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Oh, how convenient. Well, well, look at all this expository text. You know, for a game about a literature club, it could use some writing. <laughs> right. Now. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. <laughs> Maybe I'll catch some Dragon Ball. Come on, please! Uh, what a nuisance. Natsuki. Hmm. I'm not enjoying this one bit. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Blah blah blah. Third year class activities. Everyone! The new member's here! I told you don't call me a new member. A glance around the room. Oh, I'll take this one. Welcome to the Literature Club! It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Well, we don't we don't have enough of us. Um. <clears throat> ah, Vegeta! What a nice surprise! Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. Sonic is voicing two girls. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <sighs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. <sighs> A girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Hmm. You could just ignore her when she gets moody. Ugh. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy, and this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? <laughs> That's right! Oh dear. A girl named Monica. I hope it's not like the last one. It's great to see you again, Vegeta! Well, well. Totally a class president kind of deal. Y you too, Monica! Did you just really eat you two? Come, sit down, Vegeta. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. 
And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a desks. Arrange to form a table. Ugh. Hurry through, hurry through. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Oh dear, cat cupcakes. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I wouldn't mind having a cupcake like that. So cute! <laughs> Looks like I know my character better than I know myself. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. I'll tell you what, is your friend, uh, what's his name? Can we get somebody else in here? I don't want to hear Sonic twice. <clears throat> we'll figure it out. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. It's delicious! I don't think this game was a good idea. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> Made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know. You dummy. I hate this game. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss blah, 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 blah. You keep a whole tea set. Oh, sorry, Vegeta, that was your line. <laughs> you keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry. Oh, damn. Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, uh, that's not... Insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Oh, sorry. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Hmm. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the Literature Club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica. Oh, sorry. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. If it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Stop talking to yourself, boy. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best! You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Hmm. So, Vegeta, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, let's say, Joseph, you remind me of a friend of mine. Who's that? Hmm. Considering how little I 
read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga! I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up and looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. Oh, sorry, you're lying. What am I saying? Oh, dear. Anyway. Sorry, I keep taking your lines. Anyway, what about Yuri? <sighs> and telling a good story in such a foreign way is equally impressive. Yuri goes on passionately about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Haha, <laughs> back in my day, oh yeah. I've definitely taken a few people for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Hiri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. With someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh. I hate horror. Oh? Why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you that idea? That's my girl voice. You left a piece of scrap paper behind last meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> Your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. I don't like where this is going. Notsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Notsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example. And help Natsuki feel comfortable to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um, yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the little club. Isn't that right, Vegeta? Hold on, there's still one problem. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. Well, four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry. I thought... Humph. <laughs> Vegeta? You are. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, 
If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay. I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls light up. Eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over to me once more. Vegeta, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. But I really impressed this class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Mm. Hey, Vegeta, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Absolutely not! Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of the girls. It's a dating sim, alright. Good grief. You know, my uh, grandson says that a lot. <laughs>